guys, welcome to my Pregnancy Wednesday weekly update. Guess what? I'm 12 weeks along, which is so exciting. I'm entering the near of my first trimester, so um, I'm feeling a lot better, not as much uh, morning sickness, and I'm able to stay up past nine o'clock at night. So I'm not quite as tired. I still get a little sluggish in the afternoon and get tired, but um, I'm feeling a lot better and adjusting. I found out that our little baby is about the size of a lime. It's over two inches now. So this is like our little baby in my belly is this little tiny size, which is so crazy and so fun to think about because it's already growing so fast and that's so fun. I also found out that at 12 weeks, um, our little baby can open and shut its little fingers and it can open and shut its little mouth. It's already practicing to eat in there in the womb, which is so cute to think about, which is so weird because you can't feel any of it, but you know that they're in there doing all this stuff, moving around in their little water bed in there, which is so fun. I'm super excited to get farther along at about 12 weeks. I'm almost a third of the way done with my pregnancy now, which it's just, it seems like such a long time when you think about 40 weeks, but it really just goes so fast. One of the biggest challenges right now is, you know, the morning sickness, the eating right, all of those things. When you're pregnant, you have a super heightened sense of smell and taste. I don't know if any of you guys out there have experienced that, but like, Whenever I walk in somewhere, everything smells like 10 times more than it normally should or you smell everything and I actually work in food and so sometimes when I walk into the kitchen, I'm like, oh, what does that smell? And it just like starts bringing on that sickness or the taste of foods is a lot stronger so sometimes it's like hard to handle something that I used to like, like maybe fish. I really love fish but kind of the smell of fish and the taste of it being stronger is just like a little too much for me to handle right now. And I'm also just like kind of sensitive to the foods that we eat and cooking is actually really hard because raw meat is kind of always something that's bothered me anyways and now even more like when I'm cutting up raw chicken or like have to touch it a lot, it just kind of freaks me out, it makes me not feel very good and then by the time I cook it and everything and it's time to eat it, I'm like, oh, I just don't think I can eat this. So we've been eating out a ton, which is so terrible because you really need to focus on your nutrition when you're pregnant and eat good. It's a time where you can kind of eat whatever you want because you're not worried about your weight, but you need to make sure that you're getting good nutrition too. And so that's hard because sometimes you're craving things like nachos, like me <laughs> right now, and you really should be eating lots of fruits and vegetables um, so that your baby has the vitamins you need. And so that takes me to my next topic, which is do you need prenatals? And I would say definitely, especially right now in your first trimester when you're not feeling good, you're not eating as good as you want to, you might have bad cravings or you're eating out a lot like me because you just are having a hard time making dinner and just having that motivation and nothing tastes good or smells good. This is really important that you take your prenatals so that you can get the vitamins that your body needs. This is my favorite prenatal. I have taken this with all of my pregnancies. This is my fourth one now and it is uh, made by Nature's Plus and it's called Source of Life Prenatal. I get these at the health food store. The reason that I choose these over the prescription that I am given by my doctor is because the one that comes from the pharmacy is synthetic and so sometimes those um, vitamins and minerals are metabolized differently in your body. What I love about these natural prenatals is that um, they come from whole food concentrates. So these are actually the form of vitamins that occur naturally in food. And so they are metabolized a lot easier in your body and they're absorbed easier and all those things. And you know what, I have never had a problem with these prenatals hurting my stomach. I know a lot of women give up taking prenatals because they take them and they make them sick, they make them throb, it makes their morning sickness so much worse. But I have never had a problem with these. I know if you do have a sensitive stomach, it's good to take them like at night or right after dinner when you have a really full stomach or at night when you're gonna go to bed and you know you're kind of out of it so that you don't feel them. Another option is also at the health food store with Nicoya was a lot sicker and so I would take a liquid prenatal which because it's in the liquid form it's a lot easier for your body to break down and digest so you get a lot more minerals it's also a lot easier on your stomach when it's very sensitive during that time and I did not mind the taste at all I was a little freaked out thinking about drinking vitamins but it actually just tasted like carrot juice and I thought it was actually really good and I really enjoyed doing that so if you have a sensitive stomach and you're pregnant you're having a hard time taking your prenatals you should definitely try the liquid kind or try um, a 
whole food, a natural um, prenatal that you can find from your health food store. So I hope that helps you guys. And for any of you out there who are watching that are pregnant, thank you for joining us. And um, I can't wait to see you guys next week at 13 Weeks Pregnant. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.